All right, now let's be honest. Who among us with a passion for wine hasn't at some point dreamt of opening a wine store? There's something romantic about that dream and it inspires many to act on it. Well, it turns out the reality of running a wine shop is not quite so dreamy. Here to tell us more is WSJ wine columnist Letty Teague. Letty, thanks so much for being here. Good to be here, Tony. So for your story coming out in the Wall Street Journal tomorrow, you spoke with lots of wine retailers around mm -hmm. the country. Tell us what it's like on the front lines. Right. Well, you know, it's one thing to love wine. It's another thing to try to make a living from wine, um, which I think anyone in the wine business would, would readily testify. And certainly the, the aspect of the retail sales side of things. I mean, retail sales is hard in any business. And the wine business, it's particularly difficult. You know, the, the margins are very thin. The competition is fierce. You look at everything there is on all the online options and, uh, and, and the hours. You know, working retail is, is, takes a lot of your life. So that yeah. comes as a bit of shock mm. to some of the people who've dreamt about it. But you say of all the retailers you spoke with, not a single one, despite the hardships, right. wish just they hadn't done it, right? Right. You know, that's the well, that's the thing about wine. You know, it, it <laughs> inspires a certain amount of irrationality. It that, certainly guess, you know, does. Once you're so deep into it, but you know, because because uh, and these are all people that were successful sometimes in other aspects of their life, sometimes in other aspects of the wine business. They, you know, they some of them understood more than others what was entailed, but you know, they they had decided to to make the leap of faith, right. and I think that's basically what it amounts to. And of course, there yeah. are advantages such as always so having access to fabulous away. wines, yeah. such as the one you've brought here for yeah. us today. Thank you so much, Letty. What, where did you find this This one? is actually from one of the retailers I spoke to, uh, Matt Lovely. Franco of, of Matt Franco Rare Wines down in the West Village mm, um, in the city. Take a taste. And this is a, a Calabretto um, Etna Rosso uh, 2004. It's a, a Sicilian red. It's actually that just released. It's beautiful. 10 years old. This is a new release. It's an ultra traditional wine. It's it's a rare wine, but it's not an expensive wine. It's $28 a bottle. It's absolutely Reason gorgeous. alone to open up a wine, a wine store. Now, I before so. we go, any final advice for those who are considering considering fulfilling their dream and opening that wine shop? You know, I think um, go work in a wine shop for sure. It's yeah. amazing to me how many people actually had never worked retail in their life. So work in a wine shop, you know, for an extended period of time, have a lot of backup cash and and uh, and take a small business course. Those right. Are the <laughs> Be prepared. And then drink a lot. Right. <laughs> that's right. And enjoy the fruits of your labors. Letty, Cheers. thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>